everyone. I'm so sorry it's been a while. I've just been very busy with master's degree studies and work, but I'm finally back with another video that I'm hoping will be helpful for you all. I, as you know if you've followed me before, suffer from oily, very acne prone skin, but it also gets very dehydrated, so what tends to happen is I get even more oil build up. Um, I'm also on a tight budget this month because I'm in a zero hour contract job and my hours go down in January so it's a very budget friendly skincare because I know a lot of people request these things when they see a lot of YouTubers using expensive products. So it's an oily acne prone dehydrated skincare line on a budget and I hope it's helpful for you all. The first thing I go in with every morning is a very gentle cleansing wash. Um, this one is the Simple Water Boost Micellar Facial Wash. It's advertised for very dry skin. I wouldn't use it for dry skin, I'd only use it if you had oily skin that's dehydrated. I do have quite sensitive skin as well, and this is formulated without any perfumes or chemicals or anything artificial. Again, if you're on a budget, it's very budget friendly, nothing artificial in there, so excellent if you've got very oily, dehydrated skin that just needs that gentle cleanse, but without making it so dry and damaged. A lot of cleansers aimed at oily skin. They always are full of things like salicylic acid, which is great, but if you're using it every day, that is just so stripping and so drying, and then your skin is gonna overcompensate and make more oil, which means more acne. So this is perfect in the morning. After a cleanser, I go in with a serum slash treatment, because it's winter time, even though my skin's oily, whenever I clean it, it still feels a little bit tight and dehydrated. It's not dry because it's not flaky, it just feels tight like it's parched which is why people call it dehydrated skin. To try and combat that I've been using the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% Plus B5 Serum. I use half a pipette all over my face and I just gently swipe it in and pat it in. Hyaluronic Acid is one of those ingredients that's very hydrating and it's also advertised as a very skin friendly ingredient for all skin types. This doesn't break you out, it's oil free, it's alcohol free, it's perfect, very gentle. The Ordinary is so cost effective. This only cost me £5.90, whereas I looked at other high end brands, which I do like to use, but when I've got to be careful, I don't want to spend £25 on a serum I'm using twice a day, that's this big, so definitely try this out if you're on a budget and you need some hydration in the skin that won't clog your pores. I then go in with a moisturiser, and again this is by The Ordinary, it's the Ordinary Natural Moisturising Factors with Hyaluronic Acid. It's aimed at everyone but they do say it's more for dry skin, I wouldn't use it if you have dry skin, it's not moisturising enough. I put it on and it sinks into my skin so quickly, I wouldn't use it if you're dry skinned, you need a lot more hydration. If you're looking for a very basic moisturiser that just does what it says on the tin, it just hydrates, it keeps your skin feeling very supple, then use this. It's also alcohol free so it won't cause any skin allergies if you're sensitive and it's also oil free which is why I can use it. It's nothing fancy but it does the job and the brilliant thing as well, it's only £4.90 and it lasts a long time, a little goes a long way, I just use a pea size amount across all my face and that's enough. The last step in my skincare routine is an SPF. I've only been wearing SPF every single day since I went on Accutane, which I think was a couple of years ago. My dermatologist told me that I actually should wear sun cream every single day if I'm going outside because of UV rays being damaged into, uh, to the skin, um, which I never knew. I just thought if it was sunny, I just need to wear it. It's scientifically proven to actually prevent aging. It's one of only two skincare ingredients you can claim actually does that. One being sun, sunscreen SPF, the other one being retinol, which I'll talk about in another video. The only problem I have with SPF, I find Western sunscreen so harsh on the skin. I've actually got three spots at the moment, and I think it's because I tried a Western SPF by La Roche-Posay. Even though it was aimed at oily skin, I broke out, and it smelled quite perfumed even though it claimed it wasn't. I'm sticking with Korean SPF, and the one I'm using at the moment is the Aloe Soothing Sun Cream by Cos Rx. It is so gentle, it's not thick and gloopy like a lot of Western sunscreen for the faces. This one is deeply nourishing, deeply hydrating as well. I never break out from it. And I will say, I only wear this on days where I'm not wearing makeup, which is pretty much every day. I don't really wear makeup anymore. Because it's so hydrating, you do get a dewy finish. If you're an oily skin person wearing makeup, you might want that matte look. You won't really get it if you're wearing this underneath. But I definitely highly recommend it. 
As an extra, morning and night, I always put on a lip balm. I'm not fussed about lip balms really, as long as it does what it says and it moisturises, that's all I'm really interested in. The one I'm using at the moment is a local one by a company called Sapuni. It's a local Devon company. I'm really into sporting local independent um, shops and local independent artists and it's cream tea flavour so it's delicious. It's so hydrating perfect for my lips. So I hope you all found this video very informative. I always like to see videos where people actually talk about skincare for oily, acne prone, dehydrated skins. I don't think there's enough on YouTube when it comes to that kind of skin type. There's so much for dry skin but not a lot for us. So hopefully that will help you. And it's actually very budget friendly as well. Not enough of that on YouTube. I will link all the products I use in the description. If you use any of these please do get in touch. Bye! Oh, you can beach. Oh, 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 Mm-hmm.